Hi, in this video we're going to talk about the Backup Start Menu program. And what this will do is it will let you back up your Start Menu configuration. So if something goes a little funky, uh, you could restore it, you know, your layout for where all your uh, apps are and so on, on your Start Menu here. This will work for Windows 11 and for Windows 10. And it will also come in handy if you're going over to a new computer. Let's say you got a custom uh, Start Menu here and you want to copy it over. You could, you could back it up and export it. All right, so how it works, you download it, it's a zip file, nothing to install, then you just run the executable. It'll probably give you a warning the first time from Windows saying, you sure you want to trust this? And then just to make a backup, you could either click on create a backup here, or file, create a backup, and there's some other options here always on top. Uh, this here will let you uh, disable the pin tiles uninstallation. So if we go to like here, right click on it, uninstall, if you check that box, You'll have to run it as administrator, which it'll let you do, and then it'll prevent people from uninstalling uh, apps from your start menu. Okay, so let's make a new backup here. Okay, if you don't like the name, you could just uh, rename it here. Let's call this uh, it's our main start menu. So let's say I uh, change something here. So let's say I don't want Disney anymore. Unpin it. And I want to put solitaire at the front, like that. So now, if we go back here, right-click on it, restore backup, go back to our start menu here. You can see we got Disney here, and solitaire is not at the front any longer, so it's back to the way it was. So that's pretty cool, and you can make different uh, configurations if you want to do so. So if, to do the option to back it up to a file so you could put it over on your other computer, you have to do it from the command line. So if you click on file and then open, or the command line info, I should say, it has some examples here. So you run the command with slash C to create backup, R to restore, and D reset start menu layout. So they have an example here, which is what I use just to put it in the C drive in a backup called, or in a folder called backup SML. So if I run this, copy this here, And I have my old one here, so I'm going to get rid of this so we can start fresh. Open a command prompt. You're going to have to navigate to the location of your executable here, which in my case is right here under Downloads. So I'm going to run this command here. Okay, so let's go back to that folder where uh, the command says it's going to put it which is C colon backslash backup SML. So, all right, so here's C, let's refresh this here. Backup SML. And there it is. So now what you would have to do is copy that backup SML to your other computer, which I've already done. So let's go over there. So I have this, uh, hopefully you're following along by the way. So I have this backup SML that I copied from the source computer here that I want to use over here. So before I do that, I'm going to make a uh, backup of the current configuration, which looks like this with edge in the front. Okay. So now to do the restore, so let's look at uh, this start menu here is what we're going to be using. So we're going to take this start menu from the source, which has run and TikTok for the first two and put it on this other computer here. So let's go back to the menu here, command line info. So to do that, if you're using the C colon backslash backup SML uh, folder, you could just copy this here. Okay, and I'm in the directory. I'm gonna paste it in there. So it doesn't say it worked or it didn't work. So now when we click on start, you can see we have run and TikTok in the front, just like we did on the uh, source computer here. Run TikTok, Acrobat, Clipchamp. Acrobat's not installed, so it's not going to put it there, but the ones that are installed, it'll use. So pretty simple to use. You know, the command line backup might be a little more complicated, but just making your basic uh, backups is pretty simple. Just save as many as you want, name them whatever you want, and then you could pick which one you want to restore and delete the ones you don't want and so on. So I'll put a link in the description for where you could download it and then you could try it out and make your uh, start menu backups. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.